okay I'm gonna make this a quick video on how to make a back plate for a design I see this question come up a lot so here's a couple ways you can go about doing that I've got this path opened up and I want to make a back plate for it so the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is duplicate this path so I've selected it I'm gonna hit control D and that would duplicate it or you could go to edit duplicate when you've selected it now I'm gonna take this path click on it Hold control and just drag it over here to the side now I've got two copies of this path now the first thing I can do here is just go shift control K or you could go to path break apart it's the same thing one's just a keyboard shortcut and the other is the drop-down menu so now I've broken that apart now if I hit shift control plus or path union that is just unioned all those pieces together essentially getting rid of the insides of it so now I just have one path here with eight nodes the other thing you could do if you didn't want to union it if I hit control Z I'll go back as you can see now all the parts are there once you break it apart if you hold shift and select the outside contour to unselect it now I can just hit backspace or delete on my keyboard and that removes all the inner contours. Either way works. You basically just want to get this outer ring without the insides. You can union it or you can delete the insides whatever way you're more comfortable with. But now as you can see I just have one path here with eight nodes. So I've essentially made a back plate for this piece here. And it's the exact same size as the original path. The only other thing you might want to do is if you wanted, say, your, your back plate to be just slightly bigger than your original piece so that, you know, you've got, a, you say, you're coloring the back plate blue and you want it to shine just a little bit equally around the outside edges here. Now that I've duplicated it, I could go to Path, Outset, and that will bump the size up just a hair and you can do that a few times until you get the size you want I'm gonna hit control Z and go back the other thing you can do is path linked offset that'll add a little node up here and usually when I do that I'll change the color I'll select red you can't see it yet because the linked offsets behind that now if you hit control and pull up just a hair on that as you can see I can make my outset the size I want just by dragging it around till I get the size I want it so if I wanted you know just a little bit of a lip on my back plate like that to to be that much sticking out from behind this design I can do that then the only thing I do after I've drug it to where I want it I will go path object to path and now that linked offset is now a path then I can delete this black one and now this new red path is my back plate slightly bigger than my original path another way to do that I'm gonna kick, hit control Z here a few times to go back and make sure I just have one path here not the outset nope I have two I'm gonna page this down select this and delete it it's hard to see there because they were both black but now I just have the one path that's the same size as my original design here now what I can do, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this and make it red. And I'm going to select it and then select this. I'll use my Align and Distribute menu and center them horizontally and vertically. And then I'll select this and page it down just so you can see. You know, my back plate right now is the exact same size as my front path. Now if I select that back plate something I can do is hold shift and I'll select a contrasting color like blue and that's turned my stroke on now I can adjust my stroke width let's say for some reason it's a lot bigger than I normally use but let's say I want an eighth inch my back plate to be an eighth inch bigger than my front piece all the way around you're gonna need to double that so I would set my stroke width set it to inches here and set it to a quarter inch 
hit enter and now that stroke width is sticking out an eighth inch bigger than my original path all the way around so then all I would need to do I'll turn my fill color off so I just have the stroke on now I can come up here and go path stroke to path now I've con converted that stroke to a path but that's only as you can see I'll, I'll page this down that path now is an inside and outside ring basically that's only a quarter inch wide well, I want a full back plate so then what I would do is with that selected I hit shift control K and it's just like when I broke the original path apart I can either hit shift control plus which is path union or I could just I'll hit control Z I could uh, it's hard to select them let me page this down I can just select the inner ring there and delete that inner contour now I have a path that is exactly an eighth inch bigger than my front piece here for a back plate uh, hopefully that's not too confusing but that's a couple ways you can make your back plate you can you know you duplicate your original path break it apart either delete all the inner pieces or just union it all together and that will eliminate the inner pieces and then you can do an outset a linked offset if you want your back plate to be slightly bigger or my preferred method is the stroke width because then I can control the exact distance you know if I wanted an eighth inch bigger I can make it an eighth inch bigger you just always have to remember to double whatever you want sticking out you double it because your measurement starts from the center and goes out both directions so if you set it a quarter inch it's an eighth inch inside and an eighth inch outside from the center totaling a quarter so you always double whatever measurement you want anyway hopefully that makes sense it's really easy to make a back plate for a piece but I see a lot of people ask about it you know the other most crude method you could possibly use is you duplicate this path pull it down if you just wanted a back plate the exact same size go to your node editor and delete everything inside there and you would essentially still have a back plate it would just take a lot more work you know if I go around like this and select backspace it would take take me a few extra steps but I can run around in here and make a back plate by just duplicating and then deleting all the inside nodes in my node editing mode and when I'm done I'll have I'll have a back plate the same size as my outer as my original path and then I could outset it whatever so that that accomplishes the same thing it just takes longer but the best way to do it is select it control D or edit duplicate pull this over shift control K or path break apart it's the same thing and then shift control plus that unions it all together or path union if you're using the drop down and now same deal I, I'm back to having a note or a path with just the outside contour same size as original and then if you just want a back plate the same size you're done if you want to make it slightly bigger you can do the stroke or the outset whatever method you prefer hopefully that helps some people out thanks for watching just following up on the first part of the video you know that was a an oval shaped monogram pretty simple shape so pretty cut and dry but those same methods will work on any shape you know so like this fish I've opened this up it's obviously got a little more detail to the outer contour but same deal I can just control D duplicate this pull it over shift control K which is again path break apart and then I can go uh, path union and that will you know connect all the insides to the outside so all you're left with is the outer contour and now you have a back plate the same size as your original piece and then the same deal if you want to make it slightly bigger than the front 
plate there you can do the path uh, linked offset path outset you can do the stroke width on the only thing you got to keep in mind is on shapes like this when you do an outset or linked offset or stroke width you're going to end up with a little bit of cleanup because of the shapes and the contours it's not always going to translate perfectly so you know just say i'll do the linked offset and make it blue uh, up here's where it's adding the little node to pull on so i'll hold control and pull that up and then i've made this bigger than the original now i can path object to path and then i can get rid of this front piece so now i have a back plate that's slightly bigger than my front piece now you got to watch on contours like this there wasn't much room in this spot here so it kind of run it together and it's going to leave you with a little spot like this with a couple nodes there that wouldn't be big enough to cut and wouldn't add any detail so normally what i do is just like when i break the front piece apart i would just shift control k break that apart and shift control plus which is path union and union it together that'll elim eliminate any small spots you have inside that you don't need but then on a shape like this you're going to have some cleanup you know it doesn't always translate perfect so after you make it the size you want you're going to have to go around and reduce a few nodes you know like this you got extra ones here i can just select one and delete it um, but you're going to have to go around and do a cleanup on it because you're going to end up with some extra nodes i mean it would cut as is but it's not going to be as clean a cut but that's it, it, that the same techniques work with any shape you're just going to end up with a little more cleanup when you do a more complicated shape so hopefully that helps some people out thanks for watching